So this is a behind the scenes, inside look of what goes into designing a cylinder head. This, so this was given to us before the original cast Pro Stock Ford head was made, okay? So this was supplied to us at Moe's from, uh, Moe's from Ford, Moe's and Amy Papernick. So they were a great help with all of this. And uh, so this is how it comes, you know, this is all plastic, layer by layer, just each small layer is printed, okay? But the nicest part, we can see where the water jacket is before we even get a casting. So we have an idea of how the porting is going to look. If the water jacket needs to be refined, not, o not only do they send it this way, but then we have a CAD file out of it also so we can drop ports in. And we can look at the ports inside the CAD and compare it to where the water jacket is, compare it to where the spring pocket is, all the things to make the head more advanced. So this one was supplied by Ford Motorsports. This one was supplied by Richard Childress. We were doing a lot of development with Richard Childress for about three or four years. We were w working with people like Dave Spitzer and um, David, uh, um, David Spitzer, Lanny Barnes over there. Um, worked with Spenny for a little bit over there. Um, Paul Ward, there's a group of us. It was a lot of fun to work on. Um, but this is what we were given. So this is before the R07 was even made. So we received this, we have the water core in it, we can see this, and we can look at where the ports are, what the rocker gear, what the final spring pocket height's gonna be, and then we can see where the exhaust is going to end up. So, and you can see on this one, if you notice, if you notice, if you look at where this guide bore is, compared to where the center of the exhaust is, okay? You got the center and the center. If you can see, this port is off center towards the center of the cylinder, because here's your intake guide. This one's moved over. This one is centered. It's, it's moved over the other way. It's moved over this way. So this is something that Chevrolet did for the chassis. The chassis, they had to move the exhaust port so it wouldn't interfere with the way they wanted to build the chassis, which, which in, in retrospect, made the head much worse. But, you know, it's chassis sports over there. It's not motorsports people. And, you know, us as engine builders and, 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 uh, and people that develop this stuff, you know, we have to come to the reality that sometimes in the circle track world, it's chassis sports more than it's motorsports. And really, it, it'll, it'll bum you out like somebody like us. It really kind of does. So, so this port over here, we knew was going to flow less air than this port on the exhaust side just by looking at it. When we saw it. so those were some of the questions were, that were brought up and those were the explanations that we were given so when we did it um, this the we call this the bad port and this the good port um, the reason why this is moved over and it is on almost all heads is because it gets everything closer to the center of the cylinder so it's so so there's much much less of a low uh, high pressure area. This has a much higher pressure area because it, the exhaust port is basically against the cylinder wall. So this this port flows about 12 to 15 CFM less on an R07 than the good part port. So I'd imagine cup teams put different uh, different uh, different lobes and and different durations on on from this one to this one I would guess. But these are all things you can learn just by looking at something that's plastic. Um, you know it's amazing. We look at it and within five minutes you have all these ideas that come to your head. Okay, so this is similar to the Toyota head. This is extremely similar to the Dodge Pro Stock head. Okay, so that kind of gives you some stuff here, but then it gets, it gets into the rocker arms. So what we have here, so when we design a head, if it's with Jessel or T&D or Reed, we get we get the rapid prototype. We get the rocker system here, and we mock it up on the block here. We make sure it's got push rod clearance for the size push rod that we want it. Like with a small block, we want at least a half inch push rod. With the big block stuff, minimum of nine sixteens, hopefully five eighths, and some, and some, uh, some applications that need it. Not a, not all applications need that. 
but this is how they come in so it's simple and it's a simple quick check and we can look and we can go okay wait a minute, we have this area here let's add a bolt hole let's let's add another bolt hole so with MBE because we do all this and we work with them almost MBE almost every MBE head that we sell has between eight between 18 and 32 fasteners for the majority of them even our small block stuff has 32 the big nine has 23 um, our 18 degree conventional head has 18 so we get to do all of this through the rapid prototyping and we can mock it up in the head and go hey people at Jessel, the people at T&D, can we do this? Can we, can we add another fastener in here? And uh, you know, fortunately they're always willing to work with us. And this is, this is a recent one we just did with Darrell Reed for our new NHRA Pro Mod head. So this is his new system or that, that he designed for us. And we changed some little things with the fasteners. We went to a larger, larger fasteners here we moved the we moved where the where the fastener is in relationship to the bar here to make sure that it wouldn't flex and the strength was better so we looked at we looked at all of that and we can do all that in the cad so to make sure that the strength's right so it has less flex and the best part is you know all three of these companies can send us this we can mock it up and make sure it all fits before we even start and and this way if we need to move something five or ten thousandths we can um, but these are some of the things that help MBE, you know, stay at the top, you know, is working with these vendors like this, um, you know, and it's nice that they want us to succeed too. So we're very fortunate to deal with all three of them. Thank you for joining us.